I have created a virtual machine running Ubuntu Linux 20.04 that is pre-configured and pre-installed with many population genetics and ecological niche modeling programs. This tutorial assumes you already have VirtualBox installed on your computer. See the notes below for a link on how to install VirtualBox if you haven't already. I will show you how to download and plug my virtual machine into VirtualBox so that you can start using it and all of the pre-configured software. I am showing this process for Windows. See the link below for a video for this process for Macs. If you are in my class, we will be keeping the virtual machine on the USB thumb drives I gave you. So make sure you have yours plugged into your computer. The first step is to open an internet browser and visit my website, joshbanta.com. Next, click on Tutorials. In the Genomics section, scroll down until you see where it says, I have made a Linux virtual machine, etc., etc. Click File Needed for Tutorial. Click the Download button. Select Direct Download. This is a large file, so it will take a while to download. I'm going to pause the recording until it's finished. When the download is finished, open up File Explorer and navigate to your down Downloads folder. In the Downloads folder, you'll find the file we just downloaded but it's in a compressed format that we need to uncompress. Before we do that, come down to the File Explorer, right-click on it, and click File Explorer again. This will open up a new window. In this new window, navigate to your USB thumb drive. In my case, it's G colon but in your case, the drive will likely have a different number. Select the USB drive. Now, come back to the other window. If you have trouble finding it, you can always come here by clicking on File Explorer and find the other window. Double click on the file that we downloaded. Take the folder Fresh Configured Ubuntu with Software from the One File Explorer window into the other File Explorer window that you have open to your USB thumb drive. This is a large file, so it will take some time to decompress and move it into the new location. I will pause the recording and unpause the recording when it is completed. If you're not doing this tutorial for my class, you could have put this folder on your desktop instead. In fact, if you're not doing this for my class, I would recommend that uh, because it will run faster. Next, open up VirtualBox, which you can find by doing a search for it. You should have it installed. We need to add our machine. Go to Machine, Add. Find the thumb drive or whatever location you moved the folder. Inside that folder, select Fresh Configured Ubuntu with Software.vbox. Click Open. So that's the machine down here. Um, unfortunately, I have some machines with similar names up here, but this is the one we want down here. We need to change one more setting. With that machine highlighted, click Settings. Go to Shared Folders. Add a shared folder 
on your host machine. If you're doing this with my class, you'll select Other, and you'll go to the USB thumb drive, and you'll select it. Select Auto Mount, and click OK. Click OK again. Now we should be ready to check power on your machine by double clicking on it. The machine will take a few minutes to boot up. The username and password for this virtual machine are in the notes below. The username is sample. Click on it. The password, which is in the notes below, is stanleysfamous.com 75702. When you've typed that all in, press return. And here we are. You have put my pre-configured Ubuntu virtual machine onto your computer and linked it up with your VirtualBox software. If you look in the bin folder, you can see the software that I've already installed. There will be more as this list grows. But you are all set. To transfer files in and out of this virtual machine, you'll use the drive that you linked up in an earlier step. So any files that go in this folder here will be accessible to you in your regular Windows machine and vice versa.